alert, NASA has deleted all the links to these UFO photos as of January yep. 2013. UFO sighting photos leaked out of NASA Johnson Space, and Space Center. An object supposedly orbiting the Earth in near polar orbit has had ufologists and fringe authors in a tizzy since the mid-1950s. Flatulent sheep forced emergency landing. <laughs> Forces an emergency landing. They got flatulent sheep that are uh, causing problems. The plane, which had been carrying more than 2,000 sheep from Sydney in Australia to their new home in Kuala Lumpur, which is Malaysia, had been making good progress when the smoke alarm suddenly sounded to indicate that there was a fire somewhere on board. Too much methane. <laughs> The pilots acted quickly and brought the aircraft down for an emergency landing in Denpensar. But but when they went to investigate the problem, they discovered that there wasn't really a fire at all. They eventually concluded that the smoke indication was the result of exhaust gases and manure produced by the sheep. In other words, the alarm had been triggered by the farting farm animals. Probably the guy that oh. had to work back there. He just hit the fire alarm. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> it's, it's not fair. <laughs> Let me out. He's pulling the, 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 the lever. <laughs> the fire. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, folks. It could be. Just saying. All right. So this is about the Black Knight satellite. And uh, if you're not familiar with this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a... Uh, this is the claim that there is an ancient satellite that's been orbiting our planet for thousands of years. And uh, there's been alleged images of it that were captured that claim to show proof. Whatever it is, um, many people have claimed to see it, including amateur astronomers. So um, is it out there? Well, you be the judge, but says the Black Knight mystery, have aliens monitored mankind for the, over 13,000 years? If you're into ufology and you read about it, you might have come across the information about an unidentified object known as the Black Knight. In 2017, the British tabloids reported that an alien satellite was shot in the Earth's orbit and that it had been spying on humans. The most famous photograph of the Black Knight was taken in 1998 by NASA experts. Conspiracy theorists believe that the image shows a satellite of the Earth, uh, of, the Earth of alien origin, which supposedly had been in Earth orbit for about 13,000 years. I don't know how they would tell. How would you know how long it's been up there? They argue that an unidentified flying object in Earth orbit is an alien satellite. And according to their statements, NASA is hiding the truth about the origin of this UFO from the inhabitants of the Earth. In addition, according to many videos, the Black Knight sometimes begins to blink its lights and move outside the orbit of the Earth, emit unknown signals, creating the feeling that someone is periodically checks its readiness for flight. However, it is possible that the check starts automatically and that no one activates the ship on purpose. The Black Knight was mentioned by Nikola Tesla in 19, 1899 as well. Yep. Gordon Cooper, an, a Mercury astronaut, reported on the object in 1965. Astronomer Jacques Vallée and others have done so since the mid-60s. Back in 2014, I received the following information from an anonymous source. This image was provided by NASA so that we can assume it is not a Photoshop craft and is real. The size of the space shuttle in terms of height is 184 feet, 56.1 meters. The diameter is 28.5 feet. Wow, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is. The International Space Station length and width is about the size of 300 football field. 300 foot football field, rather. Alert, NASA has deleted all the links to these UFO photos as of January yep. 2013. UFO sighting photos leaked out of NASA Johnson Space, and Space Center. An object supposedly orbiting the Earth in near polar orbit has had ufologists and fringe authors in a tizzy since the mid-1950s. Uh, some believe it is approximately 13,000 years old and of extraterrestrial origin, and it has been transmitting radio signals for over 50 years now. Oh, here we go. This one I got to read. This one's so dumb. Woman uses builder's foam on hair by mistake. The mystery woman, who is believed to be from Eastern Europe, had applied a large quantity of her hair mousse to her head before realizing to her horror what she had actually used was a canister of expanding builder's foam traditionally used <laughs> to, fill the, 
Fill the gaps in the walls. Um, <laughs> look at her sitting there, that poor woman. Just, <laughs> that poor woman. Just that look of disappointment. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. It's like, <laughs> she should have tried to at least style it while it's wet. <laughs> 30 celebrities who believe in ghosts. This is from Ranker.com. All right, the first one up is uh, shiny vampire lady herself. <laughs> Sparkly vampire. Kristen Stewart. It says, Kristen Stewart believes she is particularly sensitive to the supernatural. I talked to them, she said in a 2019 Vanity Fair interview, uh -huh. when asked if she believed in ghosts. If I'm in a weird small town making a movie and I'm in, in a strange apartment, I will literally be, be like, no, please, I cannot deal anyone else, but it cannot be me. Who knows what ghosts are, but there is an energy that I'm really sensitive to. Not just with ghosts, but with people. People stain rooms all the time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what are they doing in your rooms, Kristen? Why do you take a black light with you? <laughs> yeah, you got to, like, got to, like, a, what wow, is it, this NCI? this just really painted. Yeah. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is next. All right, in 2013, Miley Cyrus said that, she saw ghosts in her London apartment, and she told Elle magazine, I thought I'd seen a little boy sitting on the sink watching me take a shower. Oh, geez. So I re felt really freaked out. Right. I was sitting there next next night, and maybe I'm crazy, but I could have sworn I could see his little boy sitting there on the sink, kicking his feet, going, hey, lady, don't you need another shower? <laughs> Kate Hudson's next. Oh. Kate Hudson says she's seen many ghosts in a house that her mother rented in London. Uh, she also claims to have been visited by the spirit of her dead grandmother. See, now I, I totally think that's yeah, very that's, possible. That's, yeah. I think our loved ones often check on us, and that's cool. That's perfectly cool. Uh, you know, London, again, it's an old city. It's a very, very old city. So yeah. I imagine there's tons of ghosts in London. Nick Cage reportedly believes in ghosts. That's it. <laughs> it's one sentence. <laughs> he reportedly believes in ghosts. That end.